folks. Something I was asked to do just recently was if, if I could teach people licks by guys like Brent Mason, Red Volkart, and Roy Nichols. And sure, I could do that, but I don't really want to. I think it'd be, it'd be better to show people how I've taken licks from them and incorporated it into my playing. Because that was kind of the question I was asked to they want to learn their licks so they can learn how to incorporate it into their playing. Well, what better way to do than give you a perfect example of how that works. I'd like to start with a, a lick by Brent Mason, something I learned a long time ago. It goes um, in the key of D, we'll do it in the key of D just because it's laid out perfectly, I guess, or better so you can see it. And I'm playing along the lines of a groove kind of like um, you can do it in any temp it, it doesn't matter you can you figure it out but up tempo kind of stuff and it starts on D so I take D my pinky slide up to the E and then hit the bar of the D chord right here and then I slide down to where I'd be playing, like, like a C position there. You can pluck it, you can pick it, you can slide, whatever. And then after this, kind of end with a D chord. If you're playing a C chord, you know that position, play a D chord in the same position, it's kind of the same thing there. But on the fifth, on the Sorry, from the third fret, second string, fourth fret, fourth string, F sharp, and then G and E, and then move chromatically up, and then back down. So. You can do mess around with it, do whatever, you know, you want to with it. But that was basically what I learned from Brit Mason as far as that lick goes. Um, sometimes I, I do it, sometimes I roll with my, do banjo roll kind of stuff. of stuff you can do with it but that's basically it I'm gonna be doing some more videos along the lines of this um, I hope you get something out of that please visit my website www.johnnychickenpicker.com and I hope you guys have a great one thanks